This is red alert. This is red alert. This is red alert. Governor Willie Obianor has concluded plans to conduct election in Anambra State tomorrow. Red alert. Governor Willie Obianor has concluded plans to conduct election in Anambra State tomorrow. The information reaching the news desk of Writers Press now, from a reliable source has it that Mr. Willie Obianor, the governor of Anambra State has concluded plans with General Tulkar Buratai, the Army Chief of Staff, to use combined murderous Nigerian forces to conduct election in Anambra State. The source who pleaded anonymity, a retired military officer while speaking to our correspondents in Aka, disclosed that his colleague who happens to be a house of man, serving as a general in the Nigerian army told him that he would be traveling to Anambra state to carry out a special task given to him by Burutai. According to our source, Obianor and Burutai have deployed over 5,000 soldiers to force people to come out tomorrow to vote since the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, under the leadership of Marzi Namdi Kanu has declared, no elections in Biafra land, unless a date for referendum is given to Biafrans to determine their fate and future in Nigeria. This is since IPOB vowed to use Anambra election as a litmus test to show the Nigerian government and the world at large their resolve to restore Biafra this time. Kiobianor cannot underestimate the power of IPOB under the leadership of Marzi Namdi Kanu because he knows that Namdi Kanu controls over 70 million Biafrans worldwide. In a bid to authenticate the above information, Reuters Press observed that thousands of SARS and police officers have been trooping into Anambra State for two days ago. As at the time of filing in this report, Anambra State is under heavy military siege ready to unleash their heinous crimes on Biafrans by the orders of General Tulkar Burutai and Governor Willie Obianor. Notwithstanding, Obianor knows the unflinching resolve of IPOB towards Biafra restoration. It is crystal clear to him that IPOB has vowed, no retreat no surrender, so he decided to take Biafran's unawares and conduct the said election tomorrow which was formally slated to hold on the November 18, 2017. Again, he paid and deployed men to go get people's voters cards and copy the serial numbers which would be fraudulently used to prove that people voted. Recall that in a news published by Vanguard News Nigeria website precisely on August 23, 2017, contained a classified information on how Governor Willie Obianor threatened to show IPOB and Marzi Namdi Kanu, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, why he is called Obianor from Argulayri. However, it is now clearly substantiated that this could be Obianor's reason for issuing such threat to IPOB. Biafrans are hereby putting the world on notice that the ongoing genocide being perpetrated on Biafrans masterminded by the murderous Nigerian government is about to take another shape and form. Therefore, we use this medium to call Willie Obianor and the Nigerian government including their henchmen to order. Namdi Kanu and Biafrans have risen above any form of intimidation. Hashtag no election. Did you hear that? There shall be no election in Anambra state.